In this video, we're going to look at the exact values of sine, cos, and tan for 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. So I've done a video previously about using triangles to remember these values. And this is a different method. So what we've got here is a little table that you can remember to write down the exact value. So we've got sine and cos here, sine on top of cos, a big square root sign, which just means each one of these within the square root sign is square rooted. So the big square root sign is just instead of writing 10 different square root signs, and we've got the values of 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90, the ones we need to remember along the top, and it's all over a 2, just a normal 2. So let's have a look at how we can use this. So if I wanted to know what sine 0 was, I meet sine and 0. So wait, I go along sine, find out where 0 is, and see what I've got. So sine 0 is root 0. So if I write root 0 over 2. Well, root 0, what, multi what multiplies by itself to make 0 is 0. So that's actually 0 over 2, and half of 0 is 0. So sine 0 is 0. Sine 30, so where sine meets 30, so that's root 1 over 2. So root 1 can be simplified. So what times itself makes 1? Well, 1. So that's 1 half. Sine 45, so sine meets 45 here, root 2 over 2. Root 2 over 2, I can't simplify it, so I'm going to leave it as root 2 over 2. Sine 60, so I've got root 3 over 2. Again, I can't simplify that, I'm going to leave it as root 3 over 2. And sine 90. I've got root 4 over 2, root 4 over 2. Now square root 4, we should know square root 4 is actually 2, so that's 2 over 2, and 2 divided by 2 is actually 1, so we can simplify that to 1. Now let's look at cos. So cos 0, cos meets 0 here, root 4 over 2. Root 4, again, same as sine 90, is 2. So we've got 2 over 2, which is 1. Cos 30, cos 30, root 3 over 2. And I can't simplify that, so we leave it as it is. Cos 45 meets at root 2. So root 2 over 2. And that's, it. that's again, that's its simplest form. Cos 60 root 1 over 2, which I can change to 1 half, and cos 90, root 0 over 2, which is 0 over 2, which is 0. So you can see that the sine, a sine goes up, so we've got 0 here, sine 0 is the same as cos 90, sine 30 is the same as cos 60, sine 45 is the same as cos 45, and they kind of reverse order. Okay, let's have a look at how we'd work out tan from this. So tan zero. So in this case, if I put the square root signs back, for tan zero, we do this one here, divide by the one underneath. So the sine zero, divide by the cos 0. We don't have to worry about the over 2 at all. So tan is, I'll draw some lines in here, so that what these two divided by each other. So tan 0 is root 0 over root 4, which simplifies to 0 over 2, which is 0. Half of 0 is 0. Tan 30, root 1 over root 3, 
which simplifies to 1 over root 3. Tan 45, root 2 over root 2. So anything divided by itself is 1, so tan 45 is 1. Tan 60 is root 3 over root 1. So that's root 3 over 1, which is root 3. And tan 90, root 4 over root 0, which is 2 divided by 0, which actually it isn't possible to divide by 0. So not possible, no answer, infinity, however you like to think of it. You cannot divide 2 by 0, because how many zeros go into 2? You can keep counting zeros forever for infinity so it doesn't divide okay so why don't you have a go at using this so try and use the table to write down the value of sine 30 cos 45 and tan 60 so pause the video give it a go and then I'll go through the answers after okay so write down the value of sine 30 so sine meets 30 here, so it's root 1 over 2, but root 1 can simplify to 1, because the square root of 1 is 1, so that's a half. Cos 45, so cos 45, that's here, and that's root 2 over 2. That's the simplest form, so we don't have to do anything more to that. And tan 60 so tan 60 is going to be root 3 over root 1 root 1 is just 1 and root 3 divided by 1 is root 3 okay if you want to have another go here's some different questions so again pause the video give them a go and then i'll go through the answers after okay so sine 0 so we've got sine and zero that's here so it's root zero over two which is zero over two which is zero cos 30 so cos 30 square root three over two we can't simplify it so that's how we leave it and tan 30 so 30 is here root one over root 3, which is 1 over root 3. 